the overt hindu nationalism of ruling bharatiya janata party is weakening the rights of muslims and other minority religious groups leading to a chorus of concern that intolerant majoritarianism is replacing the vision of a secular democratic india bikit by nehru this is what uk's chatham house report said on january 11th So what is Chatham House report and why are they commenting on India's political situation and internal matters Chatham House also known as Royal Institute of International Affairs is the century old UK based policy institute on January 11th it published a report titled Global Britain Global Broker which is a blueprint for Britain's future foreign policy after Brexit what does the report say Surprisingly the Chatham House report puts India on the other side of a new divide in international affairs between open societies where citizens have the capacity to fight for their rights and those where these rights are denied they have named such countries as the difficult four but who are the difficult four countries and why is India one of them The report has put India in the category of difficult four countries along with Russia Turkey and Saudi Arabia Now this simply means that these countries can be seen as the UK's rivals or awkward counterparts when it comes to Britain's foreign policy after Brexit As per media reports experts say this report is in no way a statement on behalf of the United Kingdom government and they are saying that classification of India as one of the difficult four is nothing but a criticism of india's domestic political developments this is not the first time that any report has such a critical point of view reports suggest that diplomats behind the closed doors across the north atlantic and european capitals have been expressing concerns about increasing religious and other forms of intolerance and the suppression of dissent in india since 2014 The Chatham House report also said that India is a reluctant supporter of liberal democracy and is ambivalent about human rights abuses within other states in the country. This can be seen in the latest controversy involving a scene from the web series Tandav. As you can see, in this scene the narrator tells that Lord Shiva needs to do something to improve his popularity on social media platforms as Lord Ram's popularity is increasing. The series character Shiva asks whether he should come up with a new display picture and this scene has hurt many people's sentiments which led to BJP MP Manoj Kotak's letter to Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javrekar seeking a ban on the series for allegedly ridiculing Hindu deities. अब सोचने की बात यह है कि कैसे एक वेब सीरीज के छोटे से सीन से भी कुछ लोगों को और कुछ लोगों का सेंटिमेंट्स हर्ट हो जाता है such events are affecting india's image across the globe which was evident in the united kingdom's parliament last week on january 12th when they held a debate on persecution of muslims christians and minority groups in india the british government defended india's religious diversity and its position on religious rights it praised india as a rich tapestry of religious minorities alongside the sizable hindu majority So what do you guys think does India deserve to be part of the difficult four comment and let us know your views and opinions on this